Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. This is Hank Strange. <laughs> Hank Strange. This is Hank Strange uh, when he gets vitiligo. That's right. That's what happened. <laughs> um, I'm actually Hank Strange. That's Babyface P. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do um, a, like, well, it's kind of like a five video, but it's really four versus one. We're going to talk about pistol caliber carbines today. And um, the four versus one, the one's going to be the MP5 because I think that's kind of like the cream of the crop, the top of the list for gun guys. When Once you really get into this, everyone wants an MP5. If you shoot one, you want one. It was my dream gun and I'm glad I own it. Yes. I would never get rid of it. And it happened to be a dream that we shared together, which mm -hmm. is, don't, you know, <laughs> don't buy Take into that, that how too you want. much. <laughs> but we, it's kind of like a thing that we That's got cool. in at the same time, because yeah. you, you found a deal with some cut up MP5s. Yep. And you told me about it, and then we we ba we wound up buying these two um, parts kits. It? Yeah, parts kits. Basically, yeah, parts right? kits. We bought them and we built them up. You uh, built yours. I built my own uh, BWE built yeah, Hanks. I went professional. Yes, he actually did, and it is very well right. done. And we'll show um, it off to you guys. I have videos. Uh, Patrick has videos on Babyface P on YouTube about the MP5. So for both of us, wish list. Absolutely. Now the only thing better than that is. A third position. Yes, but. a machine gun, of course, which everyone should have. You know, every American <laughs> should be born <laughs> with machine guns. Now, so but so here's what happens to gun guys. You get into this, you get into PCCs, pistol caliber carbines. Why? Why do people want a pistol caliber carbine? Let's so, start oh, there. So I'll give you my reason. Okay. When I built my first PCC, which was the first video I ever did with Hank, go way back like five years and you'll see it. Um, it's because at the time, 9mm was a lot cheaper than 5.56. Okay. You got the ergonomics of uh -huh. an AR, but yeah. it was 9mm. You can shoot it suppressed, and it was considerably cheaper at the time. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's relatively affordable to get a 9mm can. The ammo is affordable. Mm -hmm. You can shoot it a lot on the range. I agree with all of those. I think I got into it for a lot of guys' reasons. It's like a good truck gun. Yeah, yeah, you get a little, they're short. You can get them short, yeah. you can get them long, you get, you get a whole bunch. Yeah. But typically, if you get one in a shorter package, which is kind of where the MP5 is, mm -hmm. right? You've got a good, quote-unquote, truck gun, something yeah. you can have in your car, your truck, or whatever. You could even use it at home for a home defense kind of a thing. It and works perfectly bad. for that. The Ruger PCC worked just well. If you want to hear more about that, tune in Monday night because we're going to talk about that news story. And whoever's watching this, there's a news story with the Ruger PCC. I didn't we'll talk about it. it. I'll oh. talk about it after. This. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing, but I actually shot a Ruger PCC. They're recently. awesome, I bet, aren't they? Yes, I was. Did you do the takedown? I was in, I was in Nevada in Reno mm -hmm. and actually hanging out with Franklin Almery, mm -hmm. which are our friends. Mm -hmm. uh, they sponsor the podcast that we do, and they had a binary trigger for that. Oh. And you know what? I didn't think I would like the Ruger PCC. We don't have one here today. Unfortunately. But it was cool. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'd like to have one. I'd like to yeah. have the charger one, yeah. which is the take down and the short. Right, there's a YouTube There's a, um, a YouTube short that's up of me shooting that with, um, with Brandon mm -hmm. from Franklin Armory that you guys could check out. That's actually a pretty cool gun. I'm gonna get one. Mm -hmm. So what we wanna get into here is four different guns that are PCCs, pistol caliber carbines, all nine millimeter that people y get before they kind of like, you settle for these, I guess. Yeah, and then and then the cream of the crop would be to me a BNT, an MP5, or a SIG MPX. Right. The yeah. MP5 being the most expensive, then I think the BNT, then the M MPX. All of those are top tier PCCs to me. Yeah. So obviously people are gonna get, I think one of these, one of the things with this video, if anyone sees it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if anyone's seeing my videos, to be honest with you. But if anyone sees it, people, people are gonna get crazy here because they're gonna argue like MP5's garbage. No, this you're gonna is get better. a lot of You're gonna get a lot of PCCs are garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so what you guys are getting is our opinion. We're yes. gun guys. We're this very, the two of us are very opinionated. Yeah. We have completely, oh, yeah. We have some of the same opinions, but most of the time, completely different. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna start 
from, to me, the standard. If you're a gun guy, especially if you're a new gun guy out there and you want to get something, I think you want to go with an AR-15 platform. That's what I did. Yeah. And it works great. It worked great. I still have it in the safe. I don't shoot it much now that I have an MP5, but you're familiar with the with the functioning of it. Uh, yeah. You can get it in Colt or Glock. Or now, you can get those AR-15 magazine, like the PMAG inserts. Have you seen those? Yes. So you could even run regular uh, AR magazines out of it. So... Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of options that you have here. So just um, for, for everyone here, you know. Yeah, which, none of this is loaded. Which, we're on a range. We're both professionals. I'm not <laughs> aiming this at my junk loaded. Don't worry. Yeah. So now this particular one that we're looking at here, because I think if you're getting this, you want to go AR pistol. Yeah. If you're doing sure. this, right? Because yeah. if you if you go rifle, it's too long. No. Pistol or SBR yeah. it if you got the money. Yeah. And this um, is a FM Products uh, Foxtrot mic products, mm -hmm. and we and we got this from Brownells, and this is their FMP9. Uh, what is this thing like? Five six inches it's, on this. Barrel? Yeah, it's pistol. This is truly pistol length. Yeah. I think it's a four inch barrel or five inch barrel. Yeah. I mean that would be equivalent to a Glock 17, maybe yes. 34. Yes. Yeah. And it's a pistol, so it's got this blade... Um, Brace on the back? Yeah, on the back of it there. And I think when you're looking at these, there's so many different options that you can talk. I, my, my favorite would be side charging. Yeah. But traditionally, you would just get, you know, your... Um, you would just get your regular charging handle mm -hmm. on these. Um, that's just the most common, I think. Yeah, and they work, they typically work really well. They're yeah. simple machines because they're most of these are going to be just straight blowback. Mm -hmm. So they're real simple machines. They're easy to clean. They're easy to maintain. Yeah. All the functionality of an AR that you're used to plus nine millimeter. Yeah. Now this is now the lower on this is specifically made for a nine millimeter. The biggest problem um, that people run into with these traditionally is lockback. So when you pull this that bolt, you, you notice there it locked back. Yeah. Yep. You know, um, I think Foxtrot Mike has done a lot of that. Mine still, again, five years on since that video that we filmed, yeah. I have never gotten my to lock back ever. It's <laughs> it's typically not consistent. No. Uh, especially a couple of years ago. Yeah. I think people are getting better. With Glock mags specifically. The problem with it is the angle of the Glock mag. Go ahead. And then going into the... Yeah. Yeah. That's just not... <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you know, I'm laughing because it seems like, why is that even a big deal? Why are people... But that's that is a problem. Not everyone's figured that out. The, if so, you need, if you need it, I don't know if you need it. Yeah, I mean, I if you're like used I to an AK, it. you don't worry about the lockback. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need it. So for me, th this one's pretty cool. You want to yeah. get something that goes into a backpack. You want something small. Go under a bench or whatever in your car. Um, I would like to get the lockback, but I don't think it matters. The big plus, I don't know if you want to go over your. We could just do it at the same time. I like that you could put whatever pistol grip you want on it's it. The best part of it, you, you can, can pimp put it whatever out. trigger. You can pimp it out to your heart's desired with all the standard AR yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's really yep. the beauty of it, you know. Mm -hmm. And this this one to me is a nice example. Yep. What? How did you do yours? Uh, mine important? originally was on. So the only company at the time doing Glock lowers was Quarter Circle Ten. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So I ordered one of those. <laughs> Building one of these back five or six years ago was crazy expensive. I think Quarter Circle Ten right like really pioneered doing mm -hmm. this kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They um they did some of the and they actually took it from another company that went defunct, uh, Double Diamond or something like that. Oh okay. Uh, went defunct. They bought all of the plans to it and then really made the Glock nine mil carbine a thing. Yeah. Um, they've come down so far. It's a nice race to the bottom. Everything has become a yeah. lot more affordable. Um, but no, they're fun. They're just fun. What's What's your negatives on these? Uh, Glock mags. The lockback is the main issue. If you get one yeah. that doesn't lock back, um, and then well, people uh, are gonna say, why do you like Glock mags in the first place? There's just a crap mega ton of <laughs> these. You can buy brand new Glock mags for like seventeen ninety nine. Those are like thirty bucks a piece. Yeah, and they always work. You could get the Korean ones. They I call work clock. pretty well. <laughs> yeah, they're decent. Yeah, <laughs> you um, might not. They might not drop free and stuff like that, but they. It's, like, you cares? spend the 30 bucks on Glock though, they always work. These stick mags yeah. work perfectly. Awesome. If you, yeah, if you know, I don't know if there's a, there's like a, it's tough to get those right now. I don't, I don't know. Think so. But yeah. So, so do you want to move up the food these. chain? Well, sideways in the food chain to another Glock feeding mm -hmm. product. Um, from AR to. So 
yeah, if, if we're gonna compare these two here. So what I was gonna say, a big problem with this, to go over here, a big problem with the AR one is weight. Yes, yes. It's I, all I found them to be heavy. Yeah, it's all aluminum. Yeah. And I don't know if any companies have really gone like magnesium or done things on these to make it lighter. You would have to probably do it yourself. Yeah. So that's where the Sub 2000, I think, comes in. And the Sub 2000, this is a kel Sub 2000. This is a Gen 2. Mm -hmm. um, these have been around for a long time. And obviously. they're cool. Right. Yeah. They're affordable. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the things with this too, you could wind up spending a lot of money to do these. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you could probably, what was a sub 2000, like four or 500 bucks? When maybe? I bought mine, it was 450. Um, yeah. Stock Gen 2 sub 2K. Yeah, so here's a sub 2000, uses a Glock magazine, mm -hmm. right? The um, new Gen 2s, you can actually change with a grip module and the little, the magazine uh, release, mm -hmm. you can now change the Gen 2s between Glock and then all the other ones. Oh, you can? Yeah, it's like 75 bucks for a grip module uh, and the plugs, uh -huh. and you can do all the magazines on the same chassis, same frame. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, who makes that? Glock makes it. They uh, Not Glock. Um, uh, Skeltec makes them, and you can buy them from their website. I almost bought one from them. That's, and that's a Gen 2? A Gen 2. So oh, you could okay. change this to Beretta, Smith & Wesson, uh, okay. any of the other ones. Yep. Okay, I haven't looked into that, so yep. that's the interesting thing about it. One of the cool things about it, so this is a this is actually, now if it looks kind of like in the footprint of this gun, shorter, but it's a bigger gun, because this yeah, is technically full, rifle. Full 16 inch rifle. Yeah, so you can fold it out like that, it's a full 16 inch, you're getting, uh, I mean, I don't know. M-Lock and... Um, uh, Pick a tenny. Yeah, you're getting that. Uh, with this M, M Carbo, you can flip over your red dot like that, as you see. Mm -hmm. It's got built in iron sights. Um, it is blowback, which is, you know. That's uh, typically what you're going to get on low end, yeah. uh, less expensive 9mm carbines. Yeah. When and you start it's getting light. expensive, that's when they start getting a little fancier. Yeah, I think the stuff that's making this heavy is like this M Carbo yeah. and the red dot and all Without that. Without any of that, that thing weighs nothing. Yeah. If you if you get rid of the extra gummins and go bare bones, yeah. that thing weighs very little. So you pull this and then you fold like that, Gotta, and this you have to there it goes. flip out. And you're ready. And then you're then you're good to go. Stow to, it wherever. To, yeah, push this in a bag. And, and it's an it extremely, a it's kind of a, a safe stow design because it can't, can't ever go off. You can keep a loaded mag in it. Yeah, you and can have a chamber in the yeah, round. Yeah, you can't, you can't chamber yeah. anything because it's right here. So you just, it, it's a pretty good design for stowing somewhere. Yeah, it's cross bolt safety, which like is it. different. Uh, you know, for the AR folks, that's different, but mm -hmm. really not a big deal to me. Um, you bought this. What did you think about it? Did you buy this and then you didn't like it? I bought it after having owned my MP5 uh -huh. and was like, oh, it's, it's not what I expected. <laughs> to make it, to make it super pimptacular, mm -hmm. you have to spend another six seven hundred dollars and and, you, and then now you're now i'm like well for that i could yeah. have something different so i ended up selling it yeah but and they're the, very the popular nice thing, is, nice thing is these things people want them they're not hard to sell if you buy it and you're like no nah, i don't really like it you can flip it tomorrow did yours Easy. have any so i know with keltec what people worry about all the time and by the way we're going to roll in some footage of us shooting these we'll put a couple of rounds through we're trying to stay safe here while we're handling it and talking through it um, and if you guys want to, you can skip through and look at us shooting. Yeah. Did you have any shooting problems? Because I think that no. was like the biggest. Mine, mine functioned perfectly. Yeah. Never, never a problem. So, Caltech, here's the thing. Like, you know, they might have some issues, especially when they first put something out. But I think with this Gen 2. It's very, they, they've worked most of the flaws out. Yes. So, not really problems there. It's a great backpack but mm -hmm. gun or... A yeah. uh, truck gun, I think the consummate truck gun for folks out there. So now, if you if you start moving up a little bit here, see that's this is this is where the confusion comes in because if I'm spending four fifty or five hundred plus Pimptacular, right, I might just go for this. <laughs> so now we're looking at a Scorpion CZ Scorpion. These have been out. I think they're this is a this is a Gen One here. In yeah, the they're States. on a two now already. I think. I think so. Yeah. Um, or is this even? The, I got a. I, is this the two? I can't I remember. Don't know which one this is. Uh, Doesn't matter. Yeah, they've got, they've done a couple of different generations yes. of this, so I've had this for a while, and I've modified things. Like you could you could change the bottom part of this, which is what I did here. I have an Everest stock on it. Yep. So the big thing with this is the name CZ, right? There's just CZ. Fans CZ, out and from my shooting of them, they work really really well. Yeah. Like they function really well well because you know um where's where's cz's from uh, uh, uh czech republic czech yeah. yeah 
So, the, you know, this is what their military and stuff like that's using. They make guns. In full auto. Whew, I couldn't imagine. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, the difference between these two, so all the way up to here, we were using Glock mags. Yep. Um, I, does CZ have a thing now where they... Why am I... Why do I, even I was wondering the same thing for yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> that's also so the same thing. Does CZ have a Glock version of this now? The, I think they do, somebody, if they don't produce it, I believe somebody Someone's does making a, thing, a yeah. Glock lower for the CZ. Yeah, so you can't use, on this particular one, you cannot, when I did this, you can't use it. You would have to use a CZ uh, a style mag. magazine, which that is a PSA one. This is a PSA one. And they work pretty well. Yeah, I don't know where my original one that I got with this, but PSA is making some good magazines for this. All right. um, yeah, you know, I, li I like this. There's some things that are weird, like on this particular one. I have the and, old Gen One. Yeah, yeah, to get to to thread a suppressor on it. See, it, with with the Sub 2K, easy to put a suppressor. Yeah, with the, these, both easy. of these are half 28. The original came out the in barrels, an odd thread pitch, which is what I have. Yes, and then the new ones they brought out. Half they don't have that anymore, so that's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, I like this though. Side charging is great. Right? You can, like you can be all sexy. You get the feel. Petrol. You get the feel of an MP5. That's yeah. 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 You know, so that's cool. Uh, uh, QD slots. QD on here. You could put all kinds of different things. Get yep. a good grip on there. Yep. You know, all of this stuff is kind of mo modular. I think. Where's the gun? The gun serialized up right, here. Right here. So yeah, this is so you could this change all this. chunk here is the serial part. Yeah. Triggers for this. Eventually, people got triggers. Triggers. Uh, yeah. You got you upgraded your grip on yours. Yeah. Um, this one we moved you moved over to yeah. having a tail hook this brace. This has got the SHF. Which let me tell Hello. you the SHF. That's sexy. With the tail hook. Yeah. The best way to go if you're doing a pistol. Yeah. So oh my god, that tail hook is so good. <laughs> so just for people to see, the tail hook comes out like this. So there's a button there. It flips out, so you can actually and it rest works your arm in there for its intended purpose. Yeah, it actually works. It helps brace really well. You're, you know, you're you're bracing it here. It also works off purpose. It's you know yeah. like an off off prescription drug. It yeah. does that too, but for its intended purpose, it actually works very well. Yeah, and because it's metal. I think you could do more stuff with this. Yeah, if you, you had to like smash coconuts. Smack coconut. I was just about to say <laughs> smash coconuts. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely good. I really like this. Yeah. I really like the ability yeah. to, you know, yep. uh, this is a multi-position one from Safety Harbor Firearms. Um, safety, like mag release is kind of cool here. Yep. Um, you know, obviously we got one mag, so I'm not going to put the mag in, but it's easy enough to drop the mag here, lock it back. Yep. Uh, all it, that kind it's of a stuff. very, it's a, uh, the ergonomics of it make perfect sense. It's very comfortable to shoot. Yeah. So, did you ever buy one of these? No, I, okay. again, we found these parts kits when I was in the market for one. Oh, you, so you were thinking about I was going thinking about getting one, and then the parts kit came along. Why were you thinking about going Scorpion? Is it because Price. of the CZ name? Price. They're priced at like what, eight ninety nine or something? Yeah, yeah. Then eight ninety nine, the or nine hundred bucks. The magazines work well. Um, reports say that the gun shot great, and the ones that I shot, they mm -hmm. felt comfortable. They shot great. So yeah, I was going to get. You can one. get good colors in these. You yeah. can get green, OD yeah. green. Uh, but uh, then the parts kit came along, and I ended yeah. up getting my parts yeah. kit. There's so much. There's so much for the Scorpion out there now that I think, um, you know what? I to me. I actually like the Scorpion, I would say, better than a Sub 2000. If you're spending, a, if you're going to get a Sub 2K and then spend all the upgrade costs, get yourself a Scorpion, I think yeah. you'll like it better. Especially better. now. When I got into the Scorpion, I would go for what you were just saying. Like, you had to, in the beginning, I had to add all these things and buy stuff to yeah. do things. But <laughs> what's out there now, if you're going to just do one of these, I think that's why we're having this conversation. If you're I just like going to. Yeah, if like you it. like the feel of what an MP5 is, but you don't want to get an MP5, I like it. You can go for Scorpion, and, and it's a third the price. Um, and what's the half, other? There's half a the price. there's a not a, a BNT is expensive, mm -hmm. and we don't. <laughs> that's why I don't have a BNT sitting on this table right now. Uh, what's the other Sig one? Strybog. Strybog is another good one. Yeah, Strybog is really good. I think Strybogs are even more affordable than. CDs, I think so. Right? Yeah. Um, the so. older mags I heard had issues. And then they mm -hmm. fixed them with a Gen 2 magazine. Yeah. So, I don't know. And, I'm a and fan people boy. are making people are making um, Glock magazine versions of the Strybog. Yes. That yeah, also we know is a, a dude who should have had one out. We're we'll talking about that later. Yeah, we're not going to get into that right now. But In the <laughs> same magazine <laughs> capacity, people. though. Yes. So, like we were talking about this uh, Scorpion, uh, well, PSA. What do they call What does PSA call theirs? They're, I don't is know, but it's a mag? Scorpion mag. Yeah. yeah. So, PSA decided to get into their... 
you know, make the AKV, which uses these. The, one of the things I really love about it is that they started making their own magazines. Yes, and their mags are cheap, they're very affordable, and they work really well. These from are really, my, really good. From what I've shot them, they work great. Yeah, if you're a Scorpion person, just get a, get the, a crap ton of yes, these. Yes, they work great. Yeah, but it also works in the AKV. What do mm -hmm. you think about this? I like it. I am a purist, and <laughs> it keeps me oh, from boy. owning one. So, why? Why? Because I would love. To, I want to have a, a Vityaz, which is the Russian um, AK with its own proprietary oh. magazine and all that. Okay. So. I would like to have one of those, but if you don't want to pay for that because they're expensive and right. have proprietary mags, this thing is awesome. So, if you guys know Babyface P, oh, they probably he is do. what we refer to a as snob. a snob. He is a gun snob. I'm a snob. And then he's also like an AK gun snob on top of all of yeah. that. I like AKs, but I'm not on the I snobbish would love, level. If anybody has a Vit Yas parts kit, you let me know because I would love to. <laughs> I'd love to put that together. So that's what the Russian. That's what the Russian version. That is, is. the Russian MP5. Yeah, and this is basically <laughs> built off of. If Same you look, design. If you take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an AK. This is this is like a Vit Yas come to America. Because it uses, uh, well, Czech magazines, but CZ mags, mm -hmm. um, and it's the Americanized. Vit, yes. What does the Vit yes, use? It's proprietary. It's its own design. It's a. It looks just like that, but okay. it's its own design magazine. It well, use right here, else. that would be. This would be better because you'd be able. You to get, get a, a crap ton of those for cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know. So for example, you can have folding stocks on here, which is awesome. Braces. Uh, yeah, you could do brace. <laughs> well, yeah. This is not a. This is a brace. This is not a stock. <laughs> Just to, to be specific, works a lot like an AK. Got a dust cover, all that kind of stuff. Got the same safety. It's just blowback, yeah. so there's no bolt. Okay, yeah. there's no twisting bolt. Straight blowback. Yeah, mag release. Just and all like that an kind AK. Of stuff. Very similar. A lot yep. of the furniture, as you can see here, uh, very similar on these. Um, I really enjoy this. This to me felt even better to shoot than a scorpion so so for anybody that's unaware uh mm -hmm. a direct blowback because it's not a locking bolt it's mm -hmm. normally more violent mm -hmm. so when you go from super light to a heavier gun mm -hmm. it's more pleasant to shoot because that recoil that mass yeah. has to move right so i personally like them a little heavier like that like yeah a little, a little thick you know that's the <laughs> that's the downside too it's a good thing about yes. it and a bad thing about it like this one's heavier i think you could get you could so you could probably go plastic or wood yeah, but the, I like the weight. I think the weight makes it nice. The beauty of PSA making these, they have a whole bunch of different versions <sighs> so of these. Stuff. <laughs> um, and these are still really, really popular, even though they've been out for a while in PSA. Like mm -hmm. you said, you could get wood, you could get polymer, mm -hmm. you could get um, this heavier aluminum yep. stuff on it if you want to. Yep. Um, I really enjoy this. And then, you know, obviously like Magpul's making furniture for this nowadays. Yes, it uses so. similar, like it uses AK parts. Mm -hmm. So like Magpul AK parts would work fine on it. Yeah, this is great. Except for the weight, like I said, if you really want to carry this in a vehicle or whatever. It would work good might... for that. Because you're, you're not carrying it around on your back. Yeah. In a vehicle, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Um, if you have to hike with it, in something a backpack, like that would be, it's yeah. a little heavy for that. This yeah. would be better. Yeah. A lighter version of this would be cool. I think, um, but this is really, really, I'm just going to tell you guys, I feel like I've sh sh I spent a lot of time shooting pistol caliber yeah, carbines. PCCs. This, just there's so much about um, the AKB that I, that I really, really like. Yes. Um, and I thought that this came the closest to me to being an MP5. Yeah. Without actually being one. Yeah, and the price is affordable. That's yeah. just reasonable. Okay, so now, now stepping up to the MP5. real deal. <laughs> real deal. Well, um, as real as we can get without a without a trigger yeah. group. Well, and let's say this for the purest MP5 dudes. These are not HKs. These, these are not HKs. These, these are. are uh, this is a. a well, this one is an HNK. By H and H A and K. Yeah. And K. Yeah. Other you side. Look at this on the other side right here. I don't know if you can see it in the here. Let me put it in the light, Lola so that people can see. This is actually a Hank. Here there you go. Can you see that? Yeah, just stay put. I had it yeah, already. There you go. This is actually a Hank H and K, but it's not H and K. Yeah, so <laughs> these are, these are, this is a home build. If you want to see how that was done, it's on my channel. This was a professionally built one. You can see it's a little bit nicer than mine uh, by BWE yeah. Firearms. Um, this one's Pimptacular. This one is more of an A3 with a red dot. Yeah. I kind uh, but, of wanted mine to look a little bit more traditional, mm -hmm. but yours looks real sexy. It's and I think yours is yours lighter. 
I don't know. No, actually, this is still lighter. Still lighter. So, like, more traditional is probably the lightest, you know, roughly of where you're going. But this is nice. Mm -hmm. It's nicely appointed. I've shot this. Mm hmm you know, um, tell us, so tell us what you did here with yours. Ooh. In the beginning, I thought you were going to be all traditional. No. And then you just flipped the script. Yeah, like no, so BNT stock, BNT side folding stock, because it gives you that nice cheek weld that the HK is known for. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to weld a full rail on mine like Hank has, even though I probably should have at the time. Mm -hmm. So I went with a um, Midwest Industries rail mount, and I just have a Vortex uh, Viper on it for now. Mm -hmm. um, Midwest Industries handguard because it's M lock, it fits nicely and works well with a foregrip. Again, SBR, so you can do this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm playing with this right now. Why well, we don't know how this is permanent. probably why you feel yours feels like it has a little bit of weight. This on is it. a full power PEC 14 um, with yeah. an upgraded lamp in it, and I'm playing with it. We'll see how it, it, it might live there, it might not. We'll see. Yeah, so this me, is night capable as well, which is yeah. Cool. Let me just say this um, on Patrick's behalf, right? This is proof that you can get an MP5 and save money and make it if you have skills. <laughs> yeah. You no. can you can mess this up though, right Patrick? Oh, I mean, I think Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. You can break you yeah. can break a lot of stuff. And, and it's expensive to break things yeah. on these. And Patrick is pretty like psycho when it comes to guns in my opinion. And, oh, and I... what I mean by that is like we try to do an intervention with him and get him to not do this himself. Nope, there was no way. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm not building it myself. I wanted to know that I could do it. And, and you I did it. You did it. It's yeah. not the prettiest, but it works perfect. Right, what? So let's say someone's out there and they do want to do this. We're not going to like show you here how to do it, but you can find that elsewhere. Uh, and I think you've got some stuff on how you did yours, right? Yes, yeah, so you've got a whole series. If you want to go to youtube.com slash babyfacebe, you can find it in the oh, playlist section. What do you need to know though? Like if you want to do this and you, need you want to, to save a, money. You need to be a very good TIG welder. Um, so you need to know how to TIG weld. Or get a friend. Or get a friend that can TIG knows? weld. Yeah. And um, you need to have some tooling. And lots of time. Take yeah. your time. Do you make a, do you make something for this that helps people? I do. If you, you want to buy tool? a jig for centering the cocking tube, it goes in the front here. Um, I actually have one in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, send me an email, patrick at babyfacebee.com, and yeah. I can get you one. It's just for, it's literally, it slips right in here and helps you center the caulking tube while you weld it in place. Right. So you did all of this. This works. We've shot it. Oh, We've I've, I've, so far, I've put uh, 2,000 rounds through it. Probably. Yeah. And I know, it, it only I know gets I've... cleaned every so often. It just runs. It just runs. What um, what would it, what advice would you give to folks out there if they want? Like, don't make this your, cost? Don't make this your first project. Oh, okay. Do not make this your first project. Build a couple ARs. They're simple. Put together a couple ARs until uh -huh. you know how to do it correctly. Build you an AK. Get the tools to build an AK because it's simpler than this. Learn to weld for a while. Practice melting things together. And then tackle one of these. Um, they are not easy. It was... It was a challenge. I like building and it was, there were some days where I wanted to throw it against a wall. So mm -hmm. it was a very, it was a serious challenge. <laughs> yeah, determination. Um, so w what did this wind up costing you, do you think? As it sits, well, when well, I- to get it done, no, to as get it, it done, sits, we're looking at a lot To get it done is about $2,000. It okay. was a $1,500 parts mm -hmm. kit, a $250 receiver. And then I don't think I even factored in the tooling. The tooling would be another like four or five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. um, and some of it I already had from building AKs. Right. Some of it was new for like the, the receiver bending was new. Um, about 2000 total. So, Ready what, to go. so let's say we compare that to, um, so for example, like I had mine built, that's going to cost you more than, more than that. Oh yes. And Richard does not like building uh, MP5. So if you yeah. ask him to build it, it's going to be very expensive. He's done a few. We'll go, we'll go through <laughs> some of the details. He's done a few since we put this out there, mm -hmm. but he's not a super fan of he building like them. The MP5. Although he did a really beautiful job on mine. Yours looks better. I like whatever I can... paint he used or whatever finish. Yeah. It looks so good. But that comes from uh, Richard Hoffman of BWE just being like a craftsman. He is. He's uh, a real skilled. He does. He's a yeah. skilled craftsman. Yeah, he built in the red dot and and all of that in mm -hmm. here for me. Everything's co-witnessed on this. It's just beautiful. It's, um, <laughs> it's a fantastically I, built gun. So, but what are we looking at here, price-wise, when we're talking about MP5s, and then trying to compare that to the other stuff? That's if out you there? if you don't have to have a home built one, the Turkish ones are great. The, what the, are the I think the those cheapest are, I've seen they're coming is coming in at seventeen between 17? fifteen and seventeen. Yeah, and they run great. You can have an American-made one by PTR, and I think those are coming in like 22. 
probably. You can get a H and K. Every, all those prices are changing a yeah. little bit, but so you can I get know, an SP5 from H and K, and that's like three grand. Right. And then a homebrew like this will probably be even more expensive because you have a skilled craftsman touching every piece and putting yeah. it together perfectly. So for ours, if you're comparing, like both of these are SBRs. Yes. So anytime yes. you're buying an SBR gun, it's always gonna be more expensive. You could put a couple, like what, SBRs are typically, I'm, I think like five, 600 bucks more than whatever the normal version of it would be. Well, yeah, so, and then, and then mean, talking about this one here, getting it up and running was two grand. Then mind you, I spent a lot to get it to where it's at. Mm -hmm. uh, BNT stock runs like 250 bucks. Nothing mm -hmm. MP5 or BNT is cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's something you should know. MP5 magazines, um, these are uh, the cheaper ones, which are like 40, 30 or 40 bucks a piece. Right. You uh, can get these. I think I think these are still in the $35, $35. category. Uh, Germans, KCI. German mm -hmm. mags are like 70 or 80. So these are, I only have three and I'm not getting rid of them anytime soon. Um, <laughs> if you need the German ones. Uh, I also, Brownells uh, has the KCI. And they work great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I upgraded to a uh, Magpul lower, which was mm -hmm. only like 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, the rail and handguard was another like 150. The sight, 200. Yeah. The PEC 15, PEC 14, we're not going to talk about. I did some horse trading for the PEC 14. <laughs> so this is sitting at like a $3,000 gun with all the accoutrement. Yeah, if you're going to get into it and get it to look like this and not actually be a pistol, because there are MP... I think, um, who, who is it? Century Arms has one, and I, I think, are they doing a pistol version of yeah, that? Yeah, you can get it in pistol form. You can get so, it with the back cap. And that's cap. still close to two grand, right? Yeah. 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 You can get it with the back cap as a pistol, or yeah. you can probably get the braces and things yeah. like that. You're, these are always going to be... So if you're if you're looking at MP5s, B&Ts... They're not simple. Think, yeah. They're not simple machines. Mm -hmm. They they're, have tight tolerances. They have very intricate parts in them. The roller delay is, is not simple in a sense. Yeah. It's expensive. It's no even matter the what. SIG, even the SIG, which would be more like an AR. It's even piston the SIG, driven. You're yeah. At, yeah. You're looking at money. If you're not, for this if you're stuff. not, if you don't have your heart set on an MP5, a SIG would be great or the BNT would also be really good. Um, yeah. I, I actually. They're so expensive. I'm thinking about getting a BNT at some point. Because they make, they now make a BNT where uh, you can take the whole front off with the barrel and everything, mm -hmm. and put an SD kit on the front mm -hmm. and make it into a basically yeah. an MP5 SD, right? A BNT SD. There's some beautiful BNTs. I, I want to get it. There's but, one that comes like you're, you're a Microtech guy. I like mm. Microtechs also. There's one that comes with a Microtech yeah. um, that we've looked at before. I don't know where that came. Was that oh, that's from what a their movie? suppressor. No, no. Remember oh. they they made the uh, okay. suppressor for it, and you can get the whole yeah. kit and caboodle. Yeah. So here, here's. Here's my take on this. If you're getting into this kind of thing, you could save your money and and put it all into this for what you would do with other things, mm -hmm. but then you wouldn't be shooting. <laughs> you wouldn't own one because you'd be waiting to, unless you just have money, you could drop it on the credit I, card or do whatever. It's going to take you time. So I don't mind well, that, that I spent money to build my way that's up. That's the thing is... Yeah. It took me being in guns for 10 years before I got one of these. Mm -hmm. I started buying guns at 19 or 20. I'm 32, 31 when I got this. Mm -hmm. So this is not something I just immediately went mm -hmm. out and bought. It took me about 10 years to build up to this. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that, I mean, there's folks out there who have it like that, but it's the kind of thing for the average gun guy, it really, you've got to be comfortable with dropping money in order to do these kinds of things. Don't, don't eat. Uh, uh, mac and cheese or whatever for a, two two years just to afford it. <laughs> yeah, uh, build your way up, and having a good collection is having a well-rounded collection is worth it. Yes. So let's I, shoot. <laughs> I don't think there's I don't think there's anything wrong. That's what I want to say though. Just to cap this off. No, um, with any of these. Yeah, we're gonna roll in here all while we're talking about it shooting, and we're gonna go into that here in a second. The way that we're actually doing it before we chop it up. I will even say mm -hmm. I have a high power. High point, high point carbine at home. That thing shoots great, no, and that thing was like 280 bucks. It yeah, shoots perfectly. You can perfectly. get a high point carbine starting at like 150. Or yeah, something so like that. so yeah. you don't have to immediately no. go for this. Get if you if you want to do this. My philosophy on guns is get what you can afford. There's lots of good things out there, and and as you can see, you can get something nowadays probably for five six hundred bucks, and it would work. That's going to fit the same purpose and be very close, if not exactly the same thing. Um, and then yeah, build your way up to it if you want to be. To me, it's like making a dream come true, um, having an MP5, and it's just really, really an awesome it's gun a, in my opinion. Even though people like 
so far as like for law enforcement or military use, they're moving not away using from it. it. But to yeah. have it and own it and shoot it, wouldn't I would never, I will yeah. never sell this gun. Yeah. Okay. So outside of the MP5, before we do the shooting, so let's say let's put this on the side, right? And people can argue about that in the in the the uh, comments or whatever. So let's say we sh cut off the MP5. You can't get it. These other four guns sitting here. Which one would you get? You I could would only base, do one. I would base my choice on magazine specifically. Uh -huh. So for you, you got to base. Uh, personally, I would go with looking at what magazine does it take, and should I have a lot of those? If you already mm -hmm. have a bunch of Glocks and you want to do Glock mags, go for something that takes Glock mags. Mm -hmm. For me, if I didn't have a ton of Glocks and I would love to go something else, the CZ Scorpion mags are awesome. They're affordable, and there are now a handful of guns that take them. So I would build off you that magazine. You go CZ Scorpion. I would build off that magazine and consider either a CZ Scorpion or an ARV. Yeah. I like the they, ARV a lot. They, I would, so, okay, so now you've split it into magazine. I would go for the ARV. A, so you, this is AKV, I'm saying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not ARV. Um, I like the AKV. You like the AKV like better the AKV. than the AR. Yeah, okay. I would just say go lighter. Like, my plan probably on this one is to go lighter at some point. That's the only thing I think it's missing. I would just try to do some stuff to make it lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. I think I, I think that th this is really close. I like this better than the Scorpion. It uses the same magazine. Yeah. You know, base if, your, if you have to get CZ for whatever reason, then yeah, base, I I think base your opinion off of the magazine choice. Yeah. If if I was doing Glock magazine like you were saying, if I was doing Glock magazine, I like an AR. <laughs> that's where I'm gonna be at. Yeah. So I'm not knocking Caltech at all. You I know, like the I'm, AR. A, I'm a big Caltech fan. Um, but actually, I would go AR. The only thing I would do, like this, is really close to what I would do. I would probably put a different, uh, I would go a, a different for brace on it. That. Yeah, I would probably put a different brace on it. But I would like side charging. Yeah, you can get that. So that's it. That's that's what I have to say about there that. There you go. Now that we have ruined Lola's arms. Yeah. Um. Let's. Uh, can I do a little shoot. Yeah, let's shoot it. <laughs> Let's shoot everything here. All right. Well, at least me and you will put a couple of rounds through so we can make it look. You know, we'll do. You know, in Star Wars, they did. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what we yeah. can do. So we'll just put a couple of rounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just pretend it. You know, you guys just pretend that it's full auto. No. <laughs> make sure to check out hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.